Hello folks and welcome. So today's video I have is on Q4OS. I'm going to be uh, talking about the plasma desktop getting system information. You know there's a lot of different ways you can do this. I'll use terminal to give you several commands for getting system information and we'll talk about what's already built into your menus and then I'll talk about a program or application that you can install. There's a lot of reasons why you want to investigate your system information. Let's give you, I'm going to give you one example. Possibly you're adding more RAM to your machine. Uh, let's assume that you have a console computer, for instance. You don't want to open up the case to go find your model number on your motherboard. I'm going to show you how to do that electronically. And you can do the same on your laptop. But more importantly, let's find out at least doing some of that kind of information to find out what kind of RAM I need to go buy before I well just go buy any RAM that's just one example but I'm going to show you several different ways of getting system information today folks so today I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 I've been saying that lately because a lot of folks are on different kind of screens now if you are on a mobile device this is blown up rather large just wanted to point that out I have the text extremely large currently and it's about to get smaller so adjust your screen resolution accordingly on your YouTube player. Usually you hit pause and there's a gear symbol there and you can click it and then you can adjust your screen resolution. I do encourage that you watch my videos on the largest screen possible for you, especially when it has to do with text because you'll see a lot of text today inside of Windows. With that said, hopefully you are a subscriber. If not, I do encourage that you subscribe and also read my about section and investigate the community tab. I have over 130 videos for you to look at and they're all keyword searchable. My previous channel had 450 videos and that keyword search was a favorite with a lot of my older subscribers. So investigate that. In either case folks, welcome. So I am going to just make mention of the fact that NeoFetch does not get installed by default. So what I'll first do is just open up my history buffer. If you sudo apt install neofetch, then you'll be able to use that command. All right. There's two ways I can come, uh, close this terminal box. I can use the word exit, or I can use Alt F4. Alt F4 closes any windows in Q4 OS. All right. Let's um, go with the premise that maybe you're a new user. I don't know what your skill level is, but I'm just going to treat it the information as possibly possibly for new users possibly but again you know this is just system information so if this is not sufficient then uh, this of course is just basic system information you can go and open up your menu and type in sys and look for system information it gives you a little bit more details of stuff all right if that's still not sufficient Let's head on over to the Discover Software Center and install an application. This one here is available for a lot of different distributions. It's called Hard Info, and it comes up with System Profiler and Benchmark. I'm going to open that because it's installed, but install that if you want this tool. So I'm going to just point out the fact you can either use the word HARD or SYS and normally it's somewhere in the top of your menu. System Profiler and Benchmark is a wealth of information. Let me make this big box a little bit bigger. All right, so as I pointed out, the text is gonna get a little bit smaller. So in either case, I'm just gonna walk through this rather quickly. You have operating system, CPU, RAM is in KIB format. The motherboard model number is right here. The graphics card resolution, and uh, now I have my brother printer that is a wireless printer. It's not physically connected to this machine. It auto found it. And now you can see what kind of microphone I'm currently talking to you on. We also have a summary and here's my kernel number and all kinds of other tools. The only thing I'm gonna caution you on is the benchmark tools for uh, older, really old hardware. You just wanna be cautious about uh, benchmarking really old hardware. But in either case, there's a wealth of tools in here. This, again, is made by Hard Info, and you need to install that through the Discover Software Center. Okay? 
Now, let me talk about some tools that are literally built into your terminal box. I'm going to start out with one that I used to use quite often on my previous YouTube channel. And I'm going to blow up the text by using Control plus plus. INXI sometimes needs to be installed on other distributions, but uh, INXI space dash big F XE. What does that dash big F XE do? It strips out personal information, folks. That's all it does. This is a wealth of information, though. Just by that simple little command. Is that still not big enough? Let me blow it up some more. I'm trying not to get it off the screen, so that's probably probably good enough. Anyways, kernel information is right here. My desktop is a Plasma desktop, and my distro, again, is Q4OS. It even identifies that over here by all the subsequent numbers. And again, this is a Debian-based system, bullseye to be exact. The next category is called machine. MOBO stands for motherboard. It's made by MicroStar. B blah, 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 blah. I'm going to leave this highlighted and I'm going to actually copy this line and paste it in a web browser to look for the model number of my motherboard just to let you see what it looks like. And more importantly, for your information, this is a great way to search for your, um, your if you're wanting to add RAM to your system and what kind of RAM this would use and what's the, what's the motherboard look like without me opening up the box. All right, let's move on. Battery information, CPU is an AMD Ryzen fine. You can see that here. My graphics card, it even gives me the, the model number. It's a Radon RX 550. It even tells me the driver that I'm currently using. And uh, it's, uh, my display is X11 currently, and it gives me the resolution I'm filming in today, 1920 by 1080. Keep in mind, the text is about to get smaller, so investigate that gear symbol. Network card, Wi-Fi and wireless. Uh, sorry, uh, Wi-Fi and wired, I should say. <laughs> Bluetooth information and uh, my total storage devices. I have several other hard drives in this machine. So I have a Western Digital one terabyte. It even gives me the model number of that and tells me the size of it in GIB format. It tells me the current drive that I have booted into with Q4OS and even tells me I have a USB connected drive online. All this information is quite extensive. I'm going to leave that highlighted and I'm going to right click and copy that. I'm going to minimize this a second and go grab a web browser. And I'm going to use Google for my search and hit paste. You can use your, whatever search engine that's your favorite. It's made by Microsoft, Microstar, right? Because that's what that says right there. So I'm going to do that one. Now, this is what my motherboard looks like. And more importantly, I can tell it's using DDR4 and I got four slots available to me. But I got a wealth of information regarding this and the specifications are here, coming directly from the motherboard manufacturer. This is the benefit of having these kind of commands. All right, all I did was copy that. Right click and copy. All right, let me show you some other tips in here now. So are you fairly new to Linux in general? Or have you used terminal before? So for the folks that have, ls is very common. It lists your home folders, your directories, is what Linux calls those. But did you also know that ls has options? Well, you can do the dash a. Also shows hidden. But you can also use ls and then type in like pci or usb. I'll do usb first. Universal serial bus. ls usb, one word. There's my USB bus. Now I'm going to punch up clear just to clear the screen. I'm going to put a LS CPU, Central Processing Unit, your microprocessor. Mine is an AMD Ryzen 5 with all the particular information on it. I'm going to punch up clear. LS PCI. Maybe hard info would be easier to read, but this is without installing any software. You have a wealth of information in here. All right, so I'm gonna type up exit. And uh, basically I'm gonna talk about my next video just briefly. So uh, I'm gonna be talking about GRSync in my next video for this particular distribution. 
because uh, a lot of things like rsync, this is a graphical rsync. And I'm going to be talking about uh, grsync and rsync with scripts in uh, subsequent videos. So stay tuned for those. So I encourage that you subscribe. And on that note, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video on how to find system information. Take care.